In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a base map in Land 1 so that you can take something like this and create something like this in a matter of minutes. The first step is to go ahead and choose your page size and add in your background for tracing your base map on. To do that, click Add File, and then you want to choose the Blank Page option. And here, you can just choose which page size you want to do. I'm going to use this 24 by 18. I'm going to click add page. So now I'm ready to hop into the markup plans to begin drawing my base map. So I'll click markup plans to do this. Now that I'm in the markup plan section, I want to go ahead and upload my image of my site so I can begin tracing it to create my base map. This image can be a lot of different things. It can be an aerial uh, from a satellite view or it could be a site plan. If you get a PDF of a site survey like I'm going to use here, You'll want to save that as an image uh, instead of a PDF. You can do this in Adobe. You can just simply click Save As and change the file type to a PNG or JPEG. But once you have that as an image, we're going to use our Image Add tool to add in what, what we're going to trace. So you'll click Upload Your Own. And here I'm going to click Site Survey from my computer and click Open. Now this site plan is added in and I can begin getting ready to trace it as my background. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set my scale. And this is what I'm going to draw in. So here I want to draw in a 1 to 20 scale. So I'll tell the system I want to be in a 1 to 20. And I'll click Save. Now you can draw in any scale. You could calibrate it like you normally do on takeoffs. But here I want to create a design and I want to create a scale so that I can print this off and then a crew could use this as a printed version and they could be able to measure and get accurate measurements in the field with a printed plan if they wanted to. So now that my scale is set, what I want to do is I want to make sure that my image here is in the background layer. So I'll click back a couple of times just to make sure that it's in the background layer. And we want to be able to scale our image. We can do this a lot of different ways. Uh, one of the things that you notice here is we have different measurements on this plan that will allow us to be able to resize this image to fit a 1 to 20 scale. So in order to do that, I'm going to take our quick measure at the top and we're going to use this measurement here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a line that is 106 feet. So now that I have a 106 foot line, like we have here for this property line, I want to resize my plan so that it matches and it's to scale. So I can hit escape and zoom out a little bit. I can click on the image and you'll see we have these vertices for control points that we can resize the plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag those a couple of times, enlarging that plan until I get what I need to make sure that plan and this line is 106 feet. Looks like we need to go just a little bit bigger. There. And so now this image is resized to the scale that we want it to be. I want to create a material for drawing. A lot of times when I'm doing just the like a base map, I have a, just a generic line material that I can click it. Uh, you want it to be a length because we're drawing lines and then usually when I'm tracing I'll do a pink material just so I can see it let the color be pink and then when I'm done I'll go back and change it to black so we're gonna do pink right now just so we can see it so you click Save and you'll drop that material in then you're gonna draw just like you would any other time if I can click this material let's zoom in on the house here just to show you how I would begin tracing it so I'm just going to start drawing like normal. So I can click and be moving and click around the plan. One of the nice features, especially when you're tracing houses, is we, we provide some angle snapping. So you can hold down shift while you're drawing, and this will allow the plan to snap to 90, 45, and 100 degree, 180 degree angles. So once I get my first angle in here, I'm going to hold down shift, and now I can quickly and easily draw these angles the perfect 90 degree angles as I'm working around this house, outlining it, the sidewalks and the home 
for creating my base map. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and outline everything around the house. And then I'll do the property line. And I'll do a driveway so that I can quickly create a base map. So now that we have everything traced that we want to trace that's relevant to us doing our landscape design, we can now delete this image so that we're left with just the lines that we traced. So to do that, I'm going to enter selection mode. I did that by pressing escape. And you'll enter selection mode, your mouse is a pointer. I'm going to click on the background image. And you'll know it's selected because you'll see a preview here in the left hand side. And then I'm just going to simply delete it. I can hit this button or I can hit delete on my keyboard to delete that image. Now you can see we have a nice clean base map that we can begin designing. If I needed to reposition this, I can just hit Control A and that's going to select everything that you've drawn. And then you can just move it around in case you want to move it to the left or to the right to position it where you need it to on a page. Now you're ready to begin your landscape design. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos for more tips and tricks on how to use Land One.